Hello, I have been doing problems on Brilliant.org that involve uh, drawing some things on graph paper by hand, by hand or using my drawing tablet. And I'd like to have a way to generate some graph paper and uh, with the x-axis and the y-axis on it, um, like this. Now these uh, lines that I drew, I drew by hand, but this part with the grid and the X and Y axes is done from a Python program. So let's develop that Python program together. We're gonna to use the Python image library and NumPy to make images that are 5,000 rows and 3,000 columns. We need to know the center of the columns uh, so that we can draw the vertical axis. We're going to space the grids 20 pixels apart. We're going to space the X axes 1,000 pixels apart. Now we're going to create an array of zeroed pixels. Uh, rows and columns, there are three elements within uh, for each row and column, and that's the red, green, and blue amounts. The color of the grid lines is going to be, it's going to be grayscale and it's going to be 200 out of 255. So in the grayscale where zero is black and 255 is white, it's going to be 200. And I'm going to just call that LC for line color. Um, but the actual full line color is going to be a tuple made up of those 200s. And the axis color, the color of the axes is black. Okay, um, let's run what we have so far. That runs just fine. And now we want to, um, actually, why don't we create the image and save it and just see what it looks like so far we will do this. We'll do image from array pixels. And then we'll do image save. We'll call this graphpaper.ping. All right, let me run. And it's running and it's done running. And now let's go over to here. And here's what we've made. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like it's black. Oh, that makes sense, because um, we haven't made the pixels white yet. We want to set all the pixels white. For every row and every column, this is an awesome syntax here. The colons mean everything. For every row and column, we are going to set the value there to this tuple to white. Great. Now when I rerun, let me go take a look. There we have white. Awesome. That's a nice feature of preview that it detects that the file's been changed and it loads it uh, again. We now need to draw some things. So how about we draw the, um, the rows of the graph paper. So we'll say this, for row in, and then we're gonna say, in that row, all columns, that's what the colon represents, get set to the line color. Let's see what that looks like now. Is it there? It is. It's just really hard to see. Let me do this, um, see this actual size. There we go. We've got a bunch of lines now. And we need to do the same thing for the vertical lines. So duplicate that. I'll replace all rows with call within the selection. 
and change this, reverse the order. So for all rows, set it to the line color. And we'll run. And I, I should learn the keystroke shortcut for actual size. Command zero. Command zero. Great. There's the grid paper, the graph paper. And now we want to draw those uh, X and Y axes. Let's draw the, the common Y axis first. There's one giant Y axis for all the coordinate planes. And that's going to be done with this. Pixels, all rows, call center minus one through call center plus one. Good. And we set that equal to the axis color. And let's run. Take a look. Command zero. There's our one common Y axis there. Looks very nice. It's black. It's thicker than the other lines. We need to do the X axis, uh, the X axes for X axis row and range. And now we want the first we want the first x-axis to be halfway down the x-axis spacing. So we say x-axis spacing over 2 with integer division. And we go all the way up until the 5,000, minus 1 actually. And we go by x-axis spacing. And what are we going to do here? We want to set the pixels at that row, x-axis row. So I'm going to duplicate this, minus 1 through x-axis row plus 1 equals axis color. And let's see what this looks like. Good. This is looking like something I could work with and draw on. And if I um, scroll down here, there. You can see I got this big workspace. So the, the plan is I'm working on the drawing tablet. I draw something here, solve a problem, and I might want to keep it around. So then I scroll down and do another one and do another one. And I can make this as tall as I want. Let's just review here what we've done. We're using the Python image library that makes the image for us, the ping file. NumPy gives us these uh, nice array managing features. Dimensions of our, of our um, ping, location of the center, how far apart the grids are spaced, how far apart the x-axes are spaced. This creates the array all set to zeros. This sets everything to 255, which makes white. Um, this is the color of the, this is the point on the grayscale from 0 to 255, black to white, where we color the, um, the grid lines. And then this is the color of the grid lines made out of equal amounts of red, green, and blue, which gives us the grayscale. And then the axis color um, is black. And then here, we, in these four lines, we draw the grid, a bunch of rows, a bunch of columns. Here we do the common y-axis. Here we do all the x axes. And then here we create the image. And here we save the image. So here's the graph paper.ping that I just made. You're looking at it here. And if I open it with Pixelmator, uh, OK, so let's view this actual size and then um, make this take the full space. And I'm looking at, um, so this is called the background layer. And now I want to create a transparent layer on top of it. So I do uh, layer, new layer, empty layer. And I draw on the empty layer. So I can get a paintbrush. Um, it actually looks, looks a little neater if I go into the vector mode. And then um, I can say, give me a line here and pick a color. So that's going to be a purple. 
So I can draw a line here through the origin, and then I can draw another line in a different color, say over here. Okay, so that was a little bit of Python code to create graph paper with X and Y coordinate planes drawn on them. See you later.